हेलो वेलकम एवरी वन टू टाटा प्रोजेक्ट स्पेशल यूट्यूब सीरीज इंडिया एट हंड्रेड ग्रोइंग रिस्पॉन्सिबली एंड सेफली इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी फॉर आर वर्कर्स बट बिफोर आई डीप डाइव इन टू दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड स्पीक टू माई एक्सपर्ट्स प्लीज लेट मी चेल यू आई एम स्टैंडिंग राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस मेगा प्लांट विच इज मुंद्रा थर्मल पावर स्टेशन दिस प्लांट इज सिचुएटेड फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद सिटी and the plant comprises of 5 units of 830 megawatts and it also caters to the 2% electricity demand of the country and the experts who are joining me for the season 2 are Mr Pramod Shivastava project head from Tata Power the Mundra Thermal Power Station Mr Bhavin Bansali head of electricals Tata Power Mundra Thermal Power Station and Mr Ashok Datta Tata Projects welcome so let me start with you Mr Pramod when i talk about safety it is of utmost importance and especially you know the kind of site which we have here and the workers who are working in the periphery so now can you just shed some light that how tata power ensure safety in such a critical project yes amarjit uh, as you are aware uh, the safety is the very core very domain core value in our day to day business across the tata power whether we are doing we are dealing with all the facet of the business in uh, energy generation or the power business so let it be the generation let it be the distribution let it be the transmission everywhere the safety is utmost importance to all of us so now how we are maintaining so we believe strongly believe the safety can be can be imparted in our day to day culture through demonstration by our senior leadership so we ensure ki our behaviors how will be we behave in front of our workers in front of our associates so that we are strongly maintaining our behavior because of that reason secondly we are ensuring ki any any worker because the we are doing in the project part we are doing the ondm part also so workers are coming from various part of the country so we ensure before entering of any worker in our premises in tata power any of the premises of the tata power we ensure that they should get the l1 training through our agency that is the well recognized agency across the country that is known as the tp sdi okay tata power skill development center Oh. so through that uh, uh, agency we have the uniform program through which we are imparting to the training to the each and every worker who is coming to the tata project tata power uh, plant premises okay. so that ensures that worker will familiarize with the our expectation because we we don't want that any person who is coming from the different part he must know ke what are our expectation from that person in day to day behavior at site so we ensure that uh, we try to inculcate that safety culture that expectation of the tata power in each and every worker which are coming and be the part of our company so with the help of this training we are definitely one of the very first step secondly when we are day to day work we are having the that is our toolbox talk on daily basis but we are before start of work on daily basis our safety engineer our site engineer they are ensuring they will talk our workers at site before start of any work and what are the risk assessment is there what are the risk associated with that work so we are imparting that training on daily basis maybe it will be 15 20 minutes interaction with the workers before starting of the activity on day to day basis in addition to this day to daily toolbox talk we are also ensuring that the mass toolbox talk normally that is happening on fortnightly basis so in that mass toolbox talks we we try to call all the senior leaders of the project or the company like the as a project head myself and maybe the my counterpart like datta we are coming and joining to the workforce we all the mass mass workforce and we are sharing our expectation we are reiterating that expectation ke how they have to behave on day to day basis at site so now let's dwell into the electrical safety part which we take here at mundra so ashok ji i would like to ask you as the pre planning stage is so essential for the electrical safety as pramod ji said but how does tata projects you know lead to this indicators of this near miss reporting and potential severe events being a employee of tata projects that is a group of tata companies it is our prime responsibility to ensure the safety of our workforce and other stakeholders like our employees pre planning is a in construction projects is a comprehensive process it involves usage of leading indicators yes. reporting of electrical safety observations near misses and psc are uh, actively 
encouraged in our workforce. By analyzing these incidents, that is observations, near miss and PSCs, we could find out the potential risk and we are, and we are able to strengthen our uh, safety protocol so that no electrical incident reported. Using appropriate safety equipments and tools is so important for the safety of our workers. So now I come to Mr. Bhavan. Bhavanji, can you please tell me how the Startup Power ensures that workforce is equipped with right tools and training so that you know there is a reduction in your lost time injury? We prioritize our worker safety through comprehensive safety training programs and also through state-of-the-art electrical safety equipments. There is one saying uh, that goes by electricity is a faithful servant, yes. but it is a dangerous master yes. at times, yes. if not handled properly. So we stick to our basics very well. We have well defined and established portable electrical tools certification process, which is a major part when we talk about the construction side, like welding machines, cutting machines, grinding machines. So this process not only helps to protect a person, but it also helps to create a safe environment across our construction site. We check RCCB installations monthly basis. We test our earth pits half yearly basis, which is a very important part in any electrical installation. True. We also uh, conduct training sessions for our workforce to increase their technical awareness as well as safety awareness. We also have developed a comprehensive evaluation process for new entrants. So they are being evaluated for the electrical safety aspects. So we ensure that right person is recruited for the right job. In addition to that, we have also installed cable route markers for underground power cables. So this demarcation really helps for the person which are working on the field that the power cable, live power cable is going through this area and we have to work away from this. So this kind of proactive approach helps us to reduce these reportable injuries. Thank you very much for this insights. Uh, Mr. Pramod, can you tell me when it comes to near miss incidents tracking, especially for the electrical safety part at projects, which is of this huge scale, how do you utilize the data to enhance the safety performances? Uh, whenever our uh, any person, maybe our team members, is visiting site because we are taking the daily uh, site round. So whenever anybody is seeing any non-compliance at site, that person is reporting that observation, non-compliance, safety non-compliance through one our online portal, which is known as the Suraksha portal. And just I want to update here, initially this Suraksha portal was available only to the employee of the Tata Power. But recently, based on our experience and the feedback, we have extended this access to our business associates also to this portal. So now as on date, Suraksha portal have, is having the access to our business associates also. So anybody, we believe the, we all are equal and everybody has the equal concerns to the safety. So anybody, whether it be the, our uh, Tata Power team member or maybe our EPC contractor Tata project team member, if anybody see any type of the non safety non-compliance site, they can immediately on the spot, they can re report that non-compliance through our Suraksha portal. So, what is the subsequent process? Subse subsequently, what happened? Once the observation is reported in the Suraksha portal, my safety officer or the safety concern safety officer uh, who is looking after this system, that uh, they collect the data at regular intervals. Let it be fortnightly basis, he is collecting the data and doing the regular analysis of that data. So, when we get this data analyzed, so we, we see what type of the trend is going at site what type of the observation we are getting from the sites. Let it be the burkett height related or maybe the uh, confined space related. So that gives a very good trend to us. We can, we can get the trend what is going on the site and subsequently we do based on the, this uh, dump what we received from our system, we do the detailed analysis of that data, that observations and that is being then subsequently we are doing the RCA, root cause analysis of that observation. So we are going in very detail in that root cause, root cause analysis. We are doing the Y Y analysis. Then subsequently, we are after doing the Y Y analysis, we got the more insight of that uh, non-observation, yes. and then we are doing the quality check also. So uh, we, we are ensuring whether this observe, whatever observation has been taken at site, it is properly closed or not. So, Mr. Bhavan, when it comes to you, and I talk about that 
preparedness for emergencies is really very crucial. So what, is, what do you do for doing these things, minimizing reportable injuries at site? Emergency response plan is really a very important thing, whether it is a construction side or o and side. I would rather say in construction it is more important because large number of people are involved. Yes. So we have very de well defined emergency response plan with us, uh, which plays a pivotal role in minimizing the reportable injuries when it comes to the electrical activities for projection, project sites. Our well-trained workforce and supervisor promptly responds to any emergency, preventing those incidents converting into the reportable injuries. Okay. We have every distribution board in our construction area uh, having details of the incoming supply. So authorized persons can switchly, uh, authorized person can quickly switch off the supply in case of any emergencies. Yes. We have fire extinguisher installed nearby every electrical installation. And we also have the trained workforce how to use those extinguishers. Yes. In training man hours, we invest that is a sufficient sufficient to improve, to develop our that is the workforce and supervisory talent through providing them the, the L1, L2 electrical safety training, loto training, on job training. And also we uh, encourage our workforce to identify the daily safety observation regarding the electrical activities and through daily day by day training we ensure that they can able to identify the risks and mitigate through it. I am thankful to everyone for being a part of the season 2 India at 100 growing responsibly and safely. Safety will always be top priority at our Tata group level and we will ensure to adhere the same. This concludes our insightful conversation with Mundra Thermal Power Station team. Let me thank you to all the experts for guiding us and giving insights to the electrical safety which is taken here for the workers. And the team's vision and their focus on safety is commendable. Stay safe and stay tuned for our upcoming episodes. Thank you.